Well, we've got trouble in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, my goodness, we've got huge players hitting the transfer portal, including an elite offensive tackle, a freshman, Caden Proctor, possibly transferring to Iowa. Now, he's been re-ranked as a five-star transfer, and then the crown jewel, Caleb Downs, who was all SEC freshman, one of the best freshmen in college football this past year, possibly going to either Georgia or Ohio State. This is a major problem for Alabama. They are losing players left and right. It does look like I would think they'd be able to retain Jalen Milrow going into next year, but with the SEC schedule only getting tougher, they could be staring down a 9-3 and type record without Nick Saban, and this could be an even bigger problem for college football, and this might be what causes the calendar of the transfer portal to change because it's not just Alabama losing Nick Saban. You do have Washington dealing with coaching turmoil there, losing some players, and then how about Michigan as well? They could potentially be losing players to the portal. The portal opens if you lose your head coach for 30 days, but it's closed for everyone else. So that's the problem right now for teams like Alabama. They lose kids, but they can't really get anyone, at least not right now, to replace the kids that they lost. I do think the calendar already makes absolutely no sense. The only time the portal should be open is when there are no games going on. It's just like the whole idea of Will Rogers, who transfers to Washington, you know, started the season at Mississippi State, played throughout the entire year, transfers to Washington, is on the sidelines of the national championship, and then because Washington loses their head coach, he re-enters the portal, the whole situation doesn't make any sense, and Alabama possibly getting screwed, same thing with Michigan if they lose Harbaugh, that could be the nail in the coffin that finally changes the dumb transfer portal calendar schedule to where we won't get the transfer portal opening until every single game is played. Uh, possibly opening in January, and then we get a frenzy in January rather than what it's been. I mean, it got so bad, even Texas, their backup quarterback, Malik Murphy, he had to enter the portal when Texas made the playoff. And you can say, well, he's a backup, but still, if your team makes the playoff, the idea that you have to enter the portal, and I, I don't blame the kid for doing it, he's just trying to go start somewhere, I get it, you have to take your opportunities when the portal is open, but it just shows you how ridiculous it is, the backup quarterback on a team in in the playoff had to enter the portal just based on how dumb the calendar is. So Alabama losing all these players. I said when Nick Saban retired for everyone to just calm down. We'll see what Alabama can do. I think the big issue for Alabama is you're starting to understand that it wasn't the fact that Alabama made Nick Saban great. It was that Nick Saban made Alabama great. And it seems like their NIL infrastructure is not nearly on par with other schools. And it's causing a lot of these kids to transfer out. Another curious thing, Alabama did not have a replacement ready to go. You would think for sure, based on Nick Saban's relationship with the Crimson Tide, you know, the backbone of that program, that he would say, look, this is going to be my last year, or I'm thinking about out, possibly retiring. You need to have somebody on staff that we can kind of, you know, smooth into possibly taking over for me, similar to what Ohio State did with Ryan Day, but that's even a different situation. I think we're starting to see the problems arise with the transfer portal, giving these kids immediate eligibility. If you lose your head coach, and if he was a mainstay at your program, you're going to face severe issues. Texas A&M lost a bunch of players, although you could say Texas A&M. They were kind of a paper tiger anyways, the Jimbo Fisher situation, signing all those five stars with money. Uh, but either way, the situation with Alabama, it is modern day recruiting. It's kids going anywhere they want. And at the drop of a hat, things can change for the absolute negative for some of these programs. I mean, take a look at Washington coming off of the undefeated regular season, appearing in the national championship game, possibly could be looking at a seven or a six win season next year with what they lose in the transfer portal, with what they lose in the draft. They did. They got a decent head coach, Jed Fish. We'll see how good they can be next year, but they are losing a lot. And it's, it's like a double whammy. You lose your head coach now, but you also lose basically all your, all your roster. And if you're Alabama, the situation is it's not like you can replenish it. The transfer portal is not open. It's open to your, your team and your roster for 30 days because your coach retired, which gives those players like Caleb Downs, like Caden Proctor, a chance to transfer out. And you're just losing talent, but you're not being, you're not able to replenish it. 
the portal, the calendar, it makes no sense. The same thing's happening to Washington, and the same thing might end up happening to Michigan. And I think this is, again, what finally changes the actual calendar, and they need to change it ASAP. I mean, it seems like we're finally making positive steps with college football, expanding to the 12-team playoff, you know, doing some of these things. You kind of have to give kids immediate eligibility, even though it is ridiculous, and it just makes it literally free agency, but you have to do it because look at what these coaches are doing. I mean, Arizona's head coach did an interview a week ago talking about how he loved being there and kind of brushed off and laughed at the idea he would ever be somewhere else and talking about how the extension was basically done and now he's on a different team so if coaches and that's just the way it is if if a coach gets more money he's gonna leave unless it's a weird situation where he's been at a program forever and he just doesn't want to leave um so this is a whole mess that i think will get solved and and you're seeing unfortunately alabama i'm sure a lot of people are very happy about this because really who's gonna feel bad for alabama they've won so many national titles in the last decade plus It is what it is, but they are kind of getting screwed with this transfer portal situation to where, you know, it's open for them and no one else, meaning all of their players can enter the portal. They're going to lose significant talent, and it seems like Nick Saban, you know, the whole argument was Alabama, it's the best job in college football. Well, no, Nick Saban made it the best job. I don't think there really necessarily is a, you know, best job in college football. You can argue the infrastructure at a program like Texas or Ohio State is the best, but the the coach is going to elevate the job, and I think Nick Saban elevated Bama significantly, and you're seeing the cracks in that NIL infrastructure right now uh, with Alabama, and really how much Nick Saban was able to compensate for the issues that they had with their NIL. But either way, guys, that is the current situation. Alabama losing some really good players. I thought they were going to lose some, maybe be able to get some back, but it does seem like some of their top players, Caleb Downs, Proctor, those two, you know, they played a lot as freshmen. Your thing, if you're Alabama, you're going to get two great years. Their sophomore years should be really good, and their junior years should be really good. That's why both of these players entering the portal, and also the receiver Bond, although I don't think Bond is necessarily a five-star transfer. I know he was rated a five-star. That's kind of surprising to me. But that's another good player. They've also lost a few key depth pieces. So Alabama right now, again, seems like they're going to keep Jalen Milrow. There was the idea maybe Jalen Milrow would transfer to Michigan. What is Michigan going to do at the quarterback position? You would think they would get someone. Uh, By the way, Talia Tangovailoa, Tua's brother, he did not get approved for an extra year of eligibility, which shocks me based on how the NCAA and some of these players have been getting all this eligibility, it was a weird situation where Alabama and Nick Saban actually wrote a letter to the NCAA imploring that they give Tango Bailoa an extra year of eligibility because he appeared in a fifth game, I believe, burning his red shirt his freshman season, and he was trying to get that extra year because technically he was out of eligibility and the NCAA denied it so now he's going to the draft there was a thought that maybe Michigan would be in on him uh, but either way guys that is just the situation surrounding college football let's just change this immediately let's get together the problem is there's no leadership within college football it's like who do you go to to actually change this and say listen the transfer portal it's going to be closed at the end of the summer And it's going to open on January 10th, the day after the national championship. And then we can have the great transfer portal frenzy. It's going to be amazing. We won't have to focus on the season or anything like that. The other thing is they need to move the bowl games up at least a week. There is far too long of a break in between the final game or the final weekend of the regular season and the first bowl game. The first bowl game should be starting, I would say, like December 8th or December 9th, not December 15th or 16th. That's another thing. Have all the crappy bowl games games from December 8th to December like 20th or whatever and then have your playoff semifinals or or quarterfinals then semifinals and then the finals in early January the schedule has to be moved up and changed and the portal has to be pushed all the way back after the season that's how I would do it this is not rocket science this is all very obvious and you know based on what's happening to Alabama's roster I think there will be a change to it but either way guys that is going to do it for this video make sure you're following me on x link to that's always in the description